Hello, Leo. Thank you for watching my channel. For those of you out there that don't know who I am, my name is Tawana. I am clairvoyant. I've been on YouTube since 2007. And this is my third channel on here. You can watch this for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. If you guys are looking for to buy any shea butter, sage, or candles. I have that available on my website along with some other products. So Leo, what I'm picking up before I even look at the cards, I feel like um, somebody has been having some communication problems, whether it's communicating with somebody or, or their phone, somebody's phone has been off or down or something like that. Maybe you broke your phone or maybe you didn't pay your phone bill. Something's going on like that with Leo. I feel like people are interested in communicating with you. And I feel like they want to communicate about the past as well. Judgment card. Somebody's definitely making a final judgment. It is Monday, you guys. Okay. Something is going on here. Either this is you or somebody else you're dealing with. This is also that energy of Libra here, too. So you might know somebody like that. So recently, I feel like you were feeling happy, you know, feeling happy that something was going to go in your favor. Um,. And I also feel like you have been thinking about an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And I also feel like there has been arguments going on here as well. Some of you know an Aquarian person as well. You know, an Aquarian and an earth sign showing up here. So much conflict, so much disargument. You might want to stay away from air signs today on Monday. And also either a Taurus or a Libra person as well. You are not going to get along with Taurus, Libra, um, Aquarius. And also, I feel like you're attracting water signs too. Water signs might want to be around you. Some of you thinking about being around somebody like that. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Come on, Rising Venus. Right now, the way I see you, I see you as somebody that may not be too happy about something that's going on in your situation. You feel like you could do better, but you're still trying to keep yourself together. But somebody's getting on your damn nerves. There is definitely power coming in for somebody. The universe is ready to end something in your life for you. Okay. It might be something you got going on personally like in your life. It could be a breakup, separation or something like that. Some of you might just be done with somebody and you're tired of having this feeling in your heart like somebody's doing something to you. Somebody wants to come back. You try to block that out of your head. Whoever is coming back, this person may question you too much. But in the end, this is you. The justice card getting justice. Or whatever that was. I feel like deep down, you didn't do something to somebody. Okay? Somebody might have been blaming you for something and you did not do anything. The beginning here for you guys too. The death card, which represents the Scorpio energy. Some of y'all might have Scorpio in your chart or may know somebody like that. Some of you can just do whatever you want to do right now. 
okay, I don't know what why you are prolonging things. I, I'm picking up procrastinate a procrastinator. Like somebody's not doing what they're supposed to do. But they can just do it. Whether it's a move, leaving a situation, it's something that you're holding yourself back on. You need you man, you could have been done it. Man, somebody just moved to. I see somebody just moved out of the area they were living in. I was very uncomfortable somewhere they was at. You are ready to make some moves. I do see that you're ready to make some moves. Because you don't want to commit to something right now, whether it's a situation you got going on or it's a marriage or whatever it is, you don't want to commit to something I'm picking up here. Somebody's dealing with an Aries too. You may know an Aries. You might stay connected to that type of person. If you're dealing with a, a Taurus, you're going to have problems with that person right there. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, some of y'all might be waiting around for somebody to come through, and that person is definitely controlling, no good to be around, period. All right. Whoever you are waiting on has a bad attitude. And that person could be a Taurus or an Aries. I feel like right now, a lot of you are just <laughs> running away from things right now. There's no stress here. I don't see anybody stressing. No Leo stressing about nothing. But at the same time, you're not happy too. You're not happy about something, but you're just not stressing. I feel like if, it was, if it's a relationship, <clears throat> You are dealing with a karmic relationship. Will of Fortune, Nine of Cups, Reverse. This relationship is not good for you. You need to walk right out of it, whoever this is. I see you making decisions on this new start that you want to have as well. That's going to happen. But some of you might not have a job. You might have. You might not have a job. And when I feel like you don't have a job, it could be because you might have got laid off, fired, or something. Or maybe you've just been looking for a while. Something going on with you not having any income here too. Not getting enough income. You need to work on yourself, your finances. I don't know who this is listening to this video, but somebody is watching this because it has something to do with them for sure today. I'm looking at uh, this is somebody's situation. Something is not going well. Yeah, money. There's money problems here. Okay. And if you got somebody in your life, they're taking money away from you too, if it's an earth sign. Or you couldn't know another fire sign that's that's going through a whole bunch of money problems as well, or an earth sign that's going through a whole bunch of money problems. Because this is why I'm saying this right here. All these cards. Okay. right here with Leo. I'm going to do one more spread here. Let's see if I see any other type of stuff going on. Yeah, you're definitely letting something go around this time, okay? It's time to release something. There's that Pisces energy here too. Hey man. Relationships were not right. You know what I mean? Somebody want to come back and give, give you half of them as well. Some of you are hanging on to everything you've got. For sure. 
Some of you will get a little angry today. If it's not you, it's another fire sign. And it's general here. I feel like you're not willing to put any work into a situation anymore. And if you let somebody know that, you're going to end up arguing with this. A lot of wands is here. Some conflict going on at home, work, or somewhere. You'll get back to being happy. You will get back to being happy. But one thing you need to stay away from is your past. Because that person that left you before, they're going to keep leaving you and you're not going to hear from them. You'll be waiting around for them trying to figure out where they are. And this air sign is not going away. Well, that person is not going to help you. That person is going to leave you. Okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to end up dealing with some type of addictions or dealing with some type of Capricorn or focusing more on your coins, okay? But you have to make sure that you don't mess up your money and you need to manage it well, you know what I mean? And I keep feeling like you're a runner too, like you're running away from judgment. People keep judging you over and over again and people don't trust you because they feel like you don't want to you know, do something with them as well. And I see heavy drinking in this situation as well. Somebody's drinking so much in this situation and somebody's manipulative and somebody is watching your situation. You know, it's like somebody's spying on you. And I don't even see that page of swords, but I still feel like somebody's spying on you. Okay. All I know is that a lot of you are going through something that's making you feel super uncomfortable. And if you're going to be around, you know, people in your same element, like Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, expect them not to, you know, be on your side all the time. You know what I mean? They could be against you more than they're, you know, with you. You know what I mean? Because everybody can be upright in these cards and they could be in reverse in these cards, you know, and I'm seeing more <sighs> reversals than I'm seeing upright with fire. Like the bump heads with fire. And that's all I want to say here today.